Yeah, hi guys, I'm here in our new home. That's also why the audio is maybe a little bit weird, but I hope you can still understand me. And of course, one of the most important things in a new home, that's a new coffee maker. And here you have the Kawa Mini Espresso machine. So this is how I got it. So first, of course, I'm going to show you the unboxing and after that, I'm going to show you installation and how it really works. So stay tuned till the very end of the video. So here we go. Nicely protected. Comes with an instructions manual. So let's remove that. Here we get two cups. Yeah, really nice, beautiful, definitely glass, even double wall, even two of them. And this larger part, let's see what that is. I would say that's a holder for the Nespresso capsules. So it looks like we don't have any capsule. We have the power supply, not too long as always. This is how it is. Something between two and three feet, I would say, three prong. Here the water tank comes with this convenient flap here so we can't lose the lid. And then the machine itself. Yeah, real beauty. Watch this thing here, really nice. Underneath we have these four soft rubber feet. Has this standard plug here in the back. Yeah, I would say let's go into the kitchen and see how this works there. Okay, so here we are again. Of course, we have to remove all this tape here. And so that's the waste water tray and the container for the capsules. Of course, it's such a small machine, always a little bit small. But compared to the size here, I would say still decent. I've seen worse, definitely. We can pull everything apart, put it into dishwasher for washing. Even this one here, we can fully take apart, clean it, put it back. Definitely not a bad thing. And so, of course, as always, highly recommended to give a little bit of cleaning of all the containers, especially fresh water tank with a little bit of soap water. And then we can put it back, just make sure that it's properly aligned down here. And of course, also here on top. Push it fully down. Make sure that it's secured down here and also on top. So you can easily open it. Sometimes we have combinations where we have to open it, then pull it down. And with closing the lid, it will be secured. I actually prefer this construction where we can open the lid and it's still secured. So it's easier to add fresh water when the tank is still attached. For example, if you want to use bottled water or so. And then after that, we plug in the power cable. And I have a couple of capsules and you can see we can store them on both of the sides. Eight times five capsules. That makes a total of 40 capsules. Make sure that you place them on the outside. Of course, here is just three different types. It doesn't make sense to fill them on both of the sides, but I just wanted to show you how easy we can remove them. So even when it's full on one side, we can easily remove the capsules on the other side. So very helpful. And so after cleaning and filling the water tank, we can turn it on here on the right side. You can see it starts flashing. So it's heating up now for 30 seconds. Yeah, it was barely 30 seconds. So it's a decent starting time. And so for the first time, of course, we just rinse it. You can use the espresso size or the lungo size. Just make sure that you have a suitable cup. So I'm using the espresso. Just push here. Vibrating, of course. Okay, has stopped. So we pour this out. That was the espresso size. Of course, this is not a programmable machine, but you have some options to adjust the amount of water or coffee. The first thing is to push here, start normal process. And if you think it's enough, you can push again. This will limit the amount of water. And if you need more than the programmable size, then you can just push here and keep pushing, just wait for a little bit. And then we can, I think, remove. And then as far as I know, it will only stop then when we push this button again. If you have larger cups than that, especially Lungo size, then of course we have to remodel this a little bit. We can remove the top, remove also this part here and put this tray back. And so we can use it for a little bit larger cup size. 
I would say that fits perfectly for an average size lungo. Of course, we could also remove the whole thing and then use it with extra large cups, but then you have to be careful regarding the water here in the back. And when you open it after using, then the capsule will fall fully down. And if you even need a larger amount, larger than Lungo, for example, you can start till the water starts. Now we can release it. And so it keeps going and going and going like that. You could also fill a full cup like that. If you like it for a tea or so, probably would use up all the water here in the bag. You can already see the water here in this very large cup. It really won't stop until you hit the button again. Yeah, for sure not a quiet machine, but definitely works. And so after all, of course, we want to see the real deal. I've added some half and half here already inside. So we open that and add a Nespresso capsule here on top and close the lid here again and so i'm here going with the espresso size so let's see okay nicely flowing that's very important so it has enough pressure and produces also a decent crema which means that's the foam and has already stopped i would say decent speed nothing to complain yeah, i have to hold it here we have to open it again and close it again can remove that pull it out see here the capsule is down here exactly how it should be so let's taste this here yeah absolutely perfect no difference compared to any other coffee maker or original Nespresso machine. So full recommendation from my side. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.